Okay, so guys, um, I received a phone call this morning um, and I picked up this little baby. Uh, we've took her to the vets and it could be suspected coronavirus. She is actually being sick, um, so it's not good at the moment. But what we're going to do today is um, try and syringe feed her as she's not taking any food in. So what we've done is we've bought some... Um, recovery food which is really good for sick kittens also cats and kittens that have been operated on it's a brand new tin um, and we're just going to try her with this she's also had today uh, under the skin fluids as she's absolutely too tiny to have the drip so this stuff is um, as you can see it's like a pate form which is really easy to get up into the syringe. What we normally do is we just put that in there and then we can gather it in the syringe. Now, we're just gonna try her with a little bit of food. When you're syringing your kittens and they're, sometimes they can be hard to syringe or they might be moving around, but as she's not, what you need to do is make sure that you get the syringe into the side of the mouth and just push it in don't be afraid just so that you get it into there and we just get it into the back we try a bit more there's no rush to do this so just take your time as long as you can get it in And you'll see that she's trying to chew it. Just make sure we clean her mouth. See, was that nice? Okay. And try a bit more. It's a bit of a messy process, um, syringe feeding, but if you're in the right kind of space, So you might find that they do try and spit it out, but um, you must try to get it down to the back of the throat as, as much as you can. Just so that they're just taking in little bits at a time. She's probably not eaten for days, um, hence why she's being a bit sick. If she has got coronavirus, we can't really tell right now or do a test. Um, we're going to give her a couple of days. We have to keep her very warm because her temperature was actually uh, 34 today, which is below the normal rate, which means that she was cold. So we've got her on a hot water bottle just to bring her temperature back up. Also, it's best to feed them when their temperature is at, is at a right degree. That's it, darling. It is very messy. But she'll start to get the food in our system and if we do this every couple of hours this will just give her a little bit of a head start to recovery this is a five mil syringe um, one and a half of these or two depending on how much she takes will be enough um, to do every two hours She really, really does not fancy food. When kittens are sick, their sense of smell and taste disappear. 
um, so it makes them harder to want to eat and that's why it's best to syringe feed them at this stage. You can also syringe them water every hour just to make sure that they get enough water and they're not dehydrated because this little one has been dehydrated and she's had under the skin drip today and that's about it for today so please stay tuned um, and we'll try and keep you updated on this little one mm -hmm.